this and what it's all about. Welcome to the Cairn Gorms. I'm here. Ski resort, you probably will recognise it. Tonight, we're heading off for a night on Britain's second highest mountain. Ben Matt Dewey, and me for the week. I'm staying down in uh, Avi Moore, Mrs. N. Currently giving me permission to uh, have a night away on my own. So I thought, what better? We'll get a night in the tent. We'll get up. I want a bit of snow. Hopefully, when it picks up, I think it's uh, focus quite nice. Light winds tonight. Well, fingers crossed. Should be a good night. Well, yeah, we now. We just got to crack on. in front, wind's still blowing, but yeah, we're going to climb that ridge, get on to the top, it's quite a long plateau, leading all the way in, just want to bend my do it, we'll find a home for the tent on there, the mint's all low tonight, I'll have to throw on the scarp, Better safe than sorry. It's kind of what the Hillebergs designed to do. So I've no worries. We'll be fine. Whatever the weather uh, chucks at us. Forecast for the winter drop later on anyway, so we'll be absolutely fine. But anyway, come on. We've got to get ourselves up there. Absolutely stunning though. Absolutely stunning. See the snow? Interesting to see what the wind's like when we get on top. <laughs> I'd love to tell you how windy it was, but I don't have an arm, is there? I can't say. It's bloody windy. Woo! That's where we're off. Woo! Can't go on. Oh yeah, whoa! Can't go on. Is that one over there? There. 
Top of the ski resort. Oh, man, my man, this is mental. On door now. It's a pitch black. Just picking my way down the 
the side. We're nearly back now, not too far. We're all good though, all nice and safe. Got the uh, got old crampons on, GPS running on the phone, got map and compass. We're golden. Well, like I said, we're nearly back anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, pick us away slowly down here and I'll see you back at the van. Cracking day out that was. A bit disappointed being uh, white. I was saying, a bit disappointed we didn't get to uh, have a night in a tent, but cracking day anyway. It was actually brutal on top of there. There's no way that tent was going up. I think what we'll do, rather than have a chat here, I'm absolutely white. I'll bring you back tomorrow when it's all cool and calm, and I'll give you a full run down of today's event, let you know what's going on, why we decided to bail. Um and now we managed to get some yeah. See you tomorrow. Hello, welcome to the summit of Scarfell. Scarfell Park, just there over my shoulder. I know I've just said on the video that I'd bring you back tomorrow for a recap of what happened on the, the summit. Uh, but I thought, even better that, I'll bring you out next week, the following week, when I was while camping with Phil and Rick on the summit of Scarfell. And I'll talk you through there exactly what had happened. So, as we were walking in, the wind was absolutely howling. The forecast, though, was fit to drop. So, I was all geared up, I was more than happy that uh, the Hillyberg was up for it. My, my gear, my Lotsy, my uh, Paramore Cascade two trousers. I was absolutely toasty warm, the wind wasn't cutting through me at all. I was well impressed with them. But yeah, got onto the summit. The wind was still absolutely bonkers. I tried to get a tent up. Well, before that, um, I decided I'd try and find a bit of shelter. There's a couple of sort of wind shelters on there. And all the while, I've been sort of talking to myself, you know, what happens, what happens if we can't get it up. Um, and I knew I had enough time to get the majority of the way back in the daylight if, if needs be. And worst case, I was more than happy if I came back the route that I'd come up, that I could find my way back, no problem at all. So yeah, as it transpired, something was just a, a rocky plateau. I'd brought me sear, I'd brought me long snow stakes, but the the uh, snow wasn't deep enough to get those in. Uh, I couldn't get any of the, the standard Eastman pegs in; they weren't for going in. I couldn't move any rocks to get the uh, the guy lines under any rocks. And then, obviously, as you've seen, the tent got sort of blown away tight twice as I was getting it up. And all the while, cool and calm, I thought, no, I'm talking to myself all the way through. I thought, well, the second time I'll give it one more go. If I can't get it up, I've still got another hour, an hour and a half of, of light to get the majority of the way back. So yeah, as it transpired, the, the tent went away for a second time and I thought, no, common sense prevails. I think it would be wise. What I didn't want to do is, if the weather forecast was completely wrong and the winds continued like this all night, to find myself, all my tent gear unpacked, tents had some sort of disaster and I've got to get myself all packed up and down in the middle of uh, in the middle of a howling gale in the middle of the night. So no, I took the decision to put the tent back in the bag and hightail it back for a nice warm night back in the van. So yeah, that was it. That was it. Uh, top, top trip though. Literally, as I'm walking in I felt like Scott to the Antarctic. It was absolutely awesome. Conditions were amazing. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. But yeah, there you go. I'll call that a do. Uh, if you like that video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. And fingers crossed, I'll see you next time, which will be here on the top of Scarfell. Hope to see you there. Cheers.